Good morning, everybody. Lone Wolf Rick here, and it's time for another one of my Sunday vlogs. I've got my ice cold Dr. Pepper. Hopefully, you grab something to uh, drink, a little coffee or a little water, or maybe even a Dr. Pepper. And uh, as I just kind of sit here and and kind of tell you some stuff that's going on here, we can take a drink of this here right now. Very cold, very good. So if you watched my video yesterday, I had told you that uh, yesterday, that day, July 27th, was the four year anniversary of me posting my first video. Four years, can you believe that? So I said today, it's like I would talk about that, that whole process of what uh, got me into doing uh, YouTube and my thought process was and everything. So that's what I'm going to do today. Currently, right now, it's 86 degrees. A little bit cooler than it has been uh, in the mornings by a few degrees. And it's still supposed to get to like 106 today. But uh, this morning actually was uh, very nice. You know, the morning's been getting down to like 92, it's been the low. And last night actually got down to about 79. So that was a big difference. You could tell the difference. But uh, 106 is the projected high today, and uh, uh, I'm sure it'll get there. It's like uh, there's still really no break. It's like, uh, you know, every day is over 100 degrees, and by the weekend, again, it's showing close to like 110. So uh, we'll get through it. July is almost over. We'll get through August, and, and September is usually pretty hot here in Las Vegas also, so yeah, we get through these two months, and it's like and everything should be back to Abbey normal. So anyway, back on July 27, 2020, it's like I stuck a camera in my face here, and I just started talking. That was my first video. I did a 10-minute video about uh, what my plans were for the channel and what my plans were and so on and so forth but I digress because I'm going to go back a little bit further than that and tell you my thought process and how it's like and why I wanted to do this so in 2018 we're going to go back a couple of years 2018 um, April 2018 um, you know I go to this comic book convention every year in Anaheim called WonderCon uh, which is owned by the same people that own the San Diego Comic Con that's going on right now. So I went to uh, went to Anaheim, went to Comic Con or Anna to Wonder Con, and uh, actually went to Disneyland. And if you watch my Disneyland videos, I said uh, when I was there this time, it was my first time in six years. Well, that was what I went was uh, I went to the comic book convention in 2018 and went to uh, Disneyland for a day, and. Uh, but it wasn't feeling really well. It's like, you know, I kind of like, uh, just wasn't feeling good. You know, it's kind of lethargic and whatever. But, uh, you know, I go into the Comic Con, made me feel better. And uh, had a great time. I got back home, went back, got back to work and everything. And, uh, uh, you know, and I was told it's like uh, by the owners of the place that I worked at, they were thinking about it, looking to sell, it's like their store, their operation that uh, uh, that I worked at. And, um, you know, so I was thinking, okay, it's like, so, and for those of you that don't know, it's like I've actually been there and I've actually showed where the location of that store is. And they worked at a post that store and I worked for them for about 18 years, actually. After I got out of the hotel and red casino business, uh, I worked for them for about 18 years, and uh, uh, it was a good 18 years. It's like, but uh, they were looking possibly to sell the store, so I was thinking, okay, I'm 58 years old, too young to retire. What am I going to do? It's like, uh, you know, once they kind of get uh, going and once they figure out, that's like what they're going to do and sell the place. So I ended up. Uh, uh, going on YouTube one day and I'm like watching music videos that I always would watch or whatever and, a thing. and I 
and I ran across the guy. Um, his name is Adam Adam the Woo, W O O, and uh, that was his channel, Adam the Woo. And I ran across him, and it's like, and he would post a video once or twice a week. It's like, you know, and he would travel. He would show so many adventures. He would show, um, go like filming locations and say, you know, this movie, I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and they filmed this movie here, and here's the neighborhood. And he would show like homes and stuff that would be in the movie and everything. And, and I'm like, you know, this is, this is kind of interesting. It's like, uh, you know, and at that time, I think he had so like over 300,000 subscribers when I found him. And I'm like, okay. So I started going back and watching a lot of his videos where he just kind of traveled and everything. And it's like, you know, it's like it showed towns and everything. And I said, you know what, this is kind of like that uh, Charles Kuralt on the road. It's like, you know, type of videos. And I said, you know what, this is this is something that I could do. So this was 2018. In May of 2018, so I'm like going through and I'm mean, watching the videos and everything, and then um, I got really bad sick, and I ended up in the hospital for over two weeks, and I ended up in intensive care for like ten days. Um, they were running tests, they were doing everything. It's like uh, they were checking my heart. It's like because my blood pressure was high, and uh, you know after about the uh, a week. Uh, the cardiologist who had been running, he goes, well, he goes, uh, you won't be seeing me anymore. He goes, there's, there's nothing wrong with your heart. Because your blood pressure is high, get your blood pressure down. But as far as your heart's concerned, there's nothing wrong with it, which made me feel good because I never knew. And, you know, I always figured it's like, you know, I'd have a heart attack one day or whatever. But uh, uh, so I say, oh, okay. So I said, well, what's wrong with me? They go, well, you have to talk to the other doctors. I'm like, okay, so... I was still running a fever. I was still, my breathing was shallow. In fact, uh, there was one point, it's like in this whole thing where uh, they thought that I wasn't going to make it because my breathing was so shallow. And it's like, and there was a point where I couldn't inhale and I couldn't breathe. And it's like, and, it, and I remember uh, my daughter was there and, it, and the lady that I worked for was there in the hospital room. And I was having, I ended up having an episode of where I just couldn't breathe. So it ended up, uh, uh, they put, of course, you know, they put the oxygen mask on me. It's like, man, I couldn't breathe in. And I'm trying to convey that to him, but because I couldn't breathe, I couldn't talk. It's like, you know, the thing, and I'm like, you know, the thing. So finally, I ripped the mask off, which is like, uh, you know, taboo. It's like the nurses are going nuts trying to get it back on. I'm like, ah! <laughs> you know, it's like, they it's like, they're like, like, oh, okay. So they ended up running the tubes down my throat. It's like to get oxygen to my lungs and stuff. And uh, after a little over two weeks, I was in intensive care, like I said, for about 10 days. Uh, they, they put me on antibiotics of like, um, you know, what they thought it was. They were doing lots of blood tests and everything. And they ended up uh, just telling me it was some kind of virus. It's like, you know, they now... This is 2018. It's like, you know, they, it sounded a lot like the coronavirus, to be honest with you. But it was like two years before that. And, uh, but um, kind of scary times. So when I got out of the hospital, I went back to work and had everything. And I'm like, you know, and they were still looking, you know, potential buyers maybe or whatever. I'm like, okay, so I need to, you know. So I still kept watching. It's like YouTube videos and and like I said, if I found out this Adam the Woo guy had a second channel called the Daily Woo, W-O-O. -O, and it's like, you know, things. So I started watching him where he did daily videos of his travels and everything. And I'm like, I said, well, this is really, I said, you know, I said, this makes a lot of sense. You could do daily videos and you could go out. It's like, you know, thing, and uh, uh, every day, whatever you do, it's like, you know, thing, you just kind of post your life, basically. I'm like, I said, I like this. And then I found a second channel, which was kind of the same thing, a guy called The Carpet Bagger. And uh, he would find, he was a little bit different as he would go and find like oddities and stuff. It's like around America, you know, it's like the, the, the uh, Clark Griswold's like, you know, hey, we'll go here and see the biggest ball of twine in the world. You know, that's just like the play of places he went to. I said, well, this is kind of cool also. And 
time kind of went on and kind of went on and I started watching uh, some slot channels. It's like, you know, it's like I watched like Brian, found Brian Christopher slots and uh, a couple of other people. It's like, you know, the thing I was watching them. I said, okay, so these guys are getting, making money off of these videos and stuff. And I said, well, that's kind of, kind of cool. So now I'm going to fast forward. It's like the thing. So 2018 came and went. They didn't find any buyers. It's like they, 2019 comes along. It kind of came and went. Still no buyers. And I'm still working at the same store. So now I'm 60 years old. And, uh, you know, getting close to 60 years old. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm kind of thinking about now I'm getting close to where at least when I turn 62, I can do my Social Security. And it's like with the health care that I had, the scares that I had, and not knowing, it's like, you know, what was going to happen to me or whatever. I'm like, you know, what I said, I said, I think I'll do that. So I started planning my, my goals. It's like, I think to get to 62 years old and thinking about also whatever they were going to be able to sell the store. Started saving money, started, you know, doing some investment stuff. It's like, you know, the whole bit. So I went to, uh, uh, it became 2020. It's like, you know, thing. I'm like, okay. So uh, they went through and they finally found, they found a lady who wanted to buy the store. Uh, they negotiated prices. They agreed on the prices. They got everything in line. And it's like, okay, so uh, she's going to buy the store. And I had already told them, it's like a thing. It's like, once they sell, it's like, I'm gone. Of course, the lady wanted to keep me, and it's like, you know, thing, and I kept saying no, and then it came almost to the point of where it was like, you know, this deal's going to be contingent if I stay or not, and which wasn't fair to me. It's like, you know, thing, and I told the owners of the store, I said, you know, I've always been up front. It's like, a thing, it's like, once you're gone, it's like, I'm out of here. So I said, you know, I can't, I can't base my life, it's like, on trying to, I have. I've based my whole life trying to please people. It's like, you know, the whole thing and do everything for everybody. I said, I can't, I can't do it. It's like, I got to do something for myself. Then in March of 2020, when the coronavirus started getting real bad, um, you know, and Vegas shut down, Vegas did shut down for three months. I mean, everything was shut down. Now the job that I had was considered an essential job because we were a pack and ship store that handled like U.S. Postal Service, the whole bit. We were considered essential essential business. We stayed open. However, the lady got really scared. It's like, you know, what was going on with the coronavirus, the town shut down, everything. She backed out of the deal. So, worked through 2020. It's like, you know, the thing. It's like, you know, when everybody was off getting, you know, this is just, my thinking it's like this whole thing everybody's off getting getting government money from the government getting money from the state it's like this and that it's like they and i'm working and making nothing extra and, and kind of you know my feelings were putting my life on the line every day because i come in and people would come in sick to our store even though they weren't supposed to but you know people were faxing their unemployment in it's like this and that and they may not have anybody that could do it for them and it was a real it was kind of a real mess. It's like, you know, a thing, but we were, we were an extremely busy store to say the least. And actually our sales picked up during the coronavirus time, if that makes any sense. So went through, got through all of that, you know, and I'm like, okay, so now we're getting into 2021. Well, I let me go back and say, because I've been 2020. So I'm thinking about what do I want to call the channel? What do I want to be known as? It's like, you know, the thing. So I'm kind of like, well, you know, the channel would be just me traveling. You know, it's like basically I'll be by myself or whatever. So I kept kind of come up with something that would be like a, uh, uh, the wind started to pick up a little bit. So if you pick up any of this uh, wind, it's like I apologize to you. But um, it started going through. And it's like and I was trying to uh, uh, come up with a name. So I said, well, since it'll be by myself, I'll be alone. It's like this and that. I came up with the name Lone Wolf. Well, you know, it's like there's lots of lone wolves out there. It's like, so I had to come up with something a little bit different. So 
I just kept up with my name, Lone Wolf, and then Rick. I'm like, okay, so that kind of sets me apart from a lot of the other Lone Wolves. It's like, what else is there? So I'm like, well, I could go back to the old spelling of uh, like the German and English. It's like spelling a wolf, W-U-L-F, the old spelling. It's like, you know, the medieval type spelling for wolf. So that's what I did. That's how I came up with Lone Wolf, W-U-L-F, Rick. So I set the channel all up on June the 6th of 2020. It's like the channel set up. It's like, you know, thing. I've got it uh, ready to go. And then I did the thing I think probably what most people do. I got it set up and then I did absolutely nothing. It just kind of sat there. So, you know, we're still working. It's like, you know, people are still off work. It's like the casinos finally opened back up uh, in June of, of 2020. But, uh, you know, minimum staffs it's like you know minimum people could stay there a lot of states still weren't letting people it's like travel into their state it's like you know it was still kind of a, you know it's like it was kind of a cluster so anyway so i ended up going through and it's like you know so i'm like okay so uh i got my channel set up so i still didn't do anything with it i just kind of it was just kind of there it's just sat there and then one evening, it's like I closed the store down where I was working. I'm like, uh, you know, I closed it down. I did the thing. And I'm kind of like standing there. I say, you know what? It's time. So I took I took my phone out. I held it like this. And for 10 minutes, I talked about who I was, what my goals were, you know, what, what was looking to happen. And it was like, you know, the thing. It's like, and uh, so on and so forth. And, and uh what the channel was going to be about, what I planned on doing. It's like, you know, thing. And I just kind of told it. It's like, if you ever want to see the video, it's like, it's a, it's my very first video I ever posted. It's called an introduction, intro, introduction and uh, video. And uh, like I said, you know, 10 minutes of just talking. And then uh, I just said, okay, so... At times about what my hobbies were at that time was like, you know, collecting comic books, collecting silver coins. So I did videos. I started doing videos of those type of things, you know, and I figured, well, it's like I get these videos going. It's like they get some views. Well, I get those videos going. I get like, you know, 10 views or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so I ended up, uh, you know, just plugging along. I started doing slot videos. I think, well, I need to build a face. So I started doing the slop videos and um, trying to block this wind the best I can here. I promise I won't ramble on too much longer. So anyway, so I started doing slop videos. It's like got those in, like started doing a base and everything. And on YouTube, you got to have 4,000 hours of view time and 1,000 subscribers to become monetized. So... And I'm working hard. It's like, you know, they, I'm doing these videos and all this stuff and the thing. And, and, but within like five months, it's like a thing. I got to 4,000 hours of view time. I'm like, well, that was pretty sweet. Had very small amount of subscribers, though. And it was like a thing. So, you know, people are coming to the store. I talked to them about it. It's like, you know, the thing. And, and, of course, you get the people. It's like, well, how much money are you making on it? Well, I'm not making anything. I got to have the subscriber, I got to get this type of thing. It's like, well, why would you do it if you're not making any money? You know, so you know those people weren't going to subscribe. So anyway, so, you know, it kept going. It's like I kept plugging it and plugging it and plugging it. And it's like, uh, you know, trying to get through it and trying to like make it work. And it ended up, uh, uh, it slowly just started building. It's like, you know, they... You know, talking to people and asking them to subscribe to your channel, it's like, you know, for any minute, it was almost like uh, asking them to join like a multi-level marketing thing. It was like, it was just, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was something else. But anyway, it's like I kept plugging along. It's like, you know, the thing, it's like, you know, uh, people, it, it's amazing to me because, you know, I wouldn't come up to say you and say, oh, what do you work at? Oh, I work for IBM. Oh, how much money do you make? You know. But people's first thing when they say, it's like I have a YouTube channel, I'm doing YouTube, and say, how much money do you make? That's one of the first things that would come out of my mouth anyway. So 
so anyway, it was like, you know, they, so in April, now, let me go back a little bit further. So I worked at, it's like, they try to, I'm posting videos, I'm trying to get to the subscriber number, it's like, oh, but I had the hours. So finally, on April the 20th of 2021, I finally got to uh, 1,000 subscribers. Yay. It's like, you know, they, uh, my first pay was like, uh, it's like a hundred bucks, you know, it's like, they, so, it, hey, I, I got started. I finally achieved the goal that I set out to do. It took me nine months to get the subscribers, but I finally got it. The owners finally sold the store. They had sold the store in February of 2021. Now, the new owner came in, really, really nice guy. It's like, you know, the thing. in fact, if I wasn't doing the YouTube thing, I'd probably still be working there. But anyway, I went through, it's like, you know, the thing, it's like, uh, uh, I stayed on until uh, for about a month after he bought the store just to help him out and get people trained and everything. So uh, I was there until uh, about the end of March of 2021, left. I'm on my own. It's like they still only 61. So I still hadn't hit that 62 mark to get my social security. So, you know, living off my savings. Finally, it's like, you know, I got monetized on YouTube, even though it was like a hundred bucks. It's like, but still it was an achievement. It was the baby steps, you know? So July 27th, that was the big day. So fast forward, here I am today sitting here talking to you. It's like my YouTube family. And, uh, you know, how long can I do this? As long as my health stays good enough to do it. You know, right now I'm 64 years old. So as long as my health is uh, good to where I can go out and uh, keep walking, keep doing it, I still want to travel. It's like, you know, I think that's what I had set it up originally to do anyway. Uh, you know, the coronavirus screwed a lot of that up because everything, prices went out the roof, you know hotel chains that were like $29. It's like, you know, I think all of a sudden were $69. And, uh, but, you know, 5,000 and uh, I think 5,600 and some odd uh, subscribers later, it's like I'm still plugging along. Now, YouTube would give you, <clears throat> or you could look up, it's like they, what they think it's like you should be at. It's like give you goals and stuff. It's like you know, the thing. And I had, uh, you know, my the five-year thing, it's like YouTube said, it's like I would probably be at a 10,000 subscribers. So right now I'm at 5,600. So I'm kind of behind uh, behind what they projected for me at the beginning when I hit my 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, but I still plug along. It's like I'm having a good time, and that's the main thing, right? I enjoy doing the videos. It's like they... Obviously, I'm making more than $100, even though it took a long time. I mean, even this year, for the first part of the year, I was averaging like about 160 bucks. So from a money standpoint, you know, most people probably would have quit. You know, I'm too stupid to quit. So it's like a thing I kept plugging along. And I finally got that one break that I did the video on, that one break of like uh, that travel lodge downtown where it kind of went uh, viral. And uh, that kind of got the whole ball rolling. It's like, you know, and the thing is, like, uh, that month I did, I went from $160 to $340. Yeah, the month after that, it's like, now this month hasn't been calculated yet, but the month after that, last month, I did $430. So after all this time of putting in, it's like, you know, the thing, I'm starting to see some benefits of, like, the hard work that I've been doing and everything. But I would keep doing the videos. It's like I love doing them. I love, it's like the friendships that I've made. It's like, you know, on the channel. And uh, I get to drink a Dr. Pepper every Sunday morning with you. And, uh, but that's my uh, four-year anniversary story. Kind of in a long form, I guess. It's like, you know, thing. so I appreciate you all listening to me, okay? It's like I really do. And I appreciate you all watching my videos. I really do that also. Uh, some of you probably knew this story. It's like, you know, in a thing, but a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new viewers. And so hopefully, uh, uh, hey, you know, if that inspires you to do your own YouTube channel, it's like, go for it. You know, it's just 
you got to put in the work, it's like to make it work. Hey, I'm Lone Wolf Rick. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it, everybody. Uh, now I'm going to take the rest of the day and just kind of uh, relax. Y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Stay healthy, please. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye-bye.